From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the West Texas Intermediate. You can see crude oil did, um, I mean, it went back and forth during the day in a relatively tight range. This was after the inventory numbers were horrible. Um, there was nothing good about a 15 plus million barrel build from the uh, Department of Energy in the United States, as opposed to they were expected to see the inventories drop by 700,000. So that's like a 16 plus million barrel swing once you add in all the um, the little bits, because uh, it was actually like 15.4 or something. So with all of that being said, um, it drove the market back down. We're not moving on fundamentals, though, unless, of course, you talk about the fundamentals of the market opening up um or the economy opening up and the market trying to price that in. While that does make a certain amount of sense, it's not factor in the fact that so many businesses are either damaged or destroyed. So I think we probably get a little bit, I think we get another leg higher and then somewhere down the road, we're going to come to the conclusion that, Hey, there's real problems. Don't think we're there yet. So I like buying dips. This is about trading this isn't about being right. Uh, fundamentals don't really matter. I mean, I guess the fundamental of the vaccine. But if you need any kind of hint as to how the market can look past a lot, just look at the NASDAQ 100 for the last, say, 12, 13 years. Um, I think that's what we're seeing here. It's going to be a much smaller scale. I don't expect to see this go straight up $50 or something like you would see in the NASDAQ. But clearly, I think dips are going to continue to be bought. I think 50 is where we have to kind of look and say, okay, do we have the momentum to break out above there? Uh, I'd be a bit surprised, but, you know, at this point in time, you know, it could be three weeks be between now and when we get there. It's very tight ranges. Mm -hmm.